Welcome Talking Fam and welcome to another Talking Sports video. And today we are going to go over the AFC East offseason recap. So let's take a look at, before we start into this video, um, I'd like you to please like and subscribe down below. And please comment of how I can do better. That would be really appreciated. I'd really appreciate that. Alright, without further ado, let's go on and start in today's video. Alright, today we're going to start with the New York Jets. Um, they started off their offseason by re-signing Connor McDermott. They re-signed wide receiver Bratz and Berrios. They agreed to terms with uh, cornerback DJ Reed on a three-year deal. And they also agreed to contract terms with safety Jordan Whitehead. <clears throat> they also signed kicker Eddie Panero to a tender contract. They re-signed offensive lineman Dan Feeney to a one-year deal. They signed defensive end Tim Ward by receiver Jeff Smith and cornerback Jevelyn Gurdy to tender contracts. And they also re-signed long snapper Casey Kreider. They also signed defensive end Jacob Martin to a three-year deal. They re-signed Tevin Coleman, CJ Uzoma, DJ Reed, uh, Lake and Tom, Tom, uh, Tomlinson, and free safety Jordan Whitehead. They signed linebacker Jake Martin and tight end uh, Tyler Conklin to three-year deals. And they re-signed uh, quarterback Mike White to a tender contract. They also signed quarterback Joe Flacco and running back Nick Baldwin. And then this is the re most recent deal. They signed kicker Greg Zerline. So that is their off-season recap. I'd... So the Jets are not known to do really good. So I don't think they're going to do much better this year because they didn't pick up any good players. <laughs> Except uh, CJ Uzuma, but that's it. All right, next we have the Dolphins. Their first deal uh, was placing tight end Mike Gassetti on a franchise tag. They tendered Zeus of rights to running back Salvin Ahmad and defensive back Elijah Campbell. They play second round tender on cornerback Nick Needham, and they re-sign wide receiver Preston Williams, defensive end Emmanuel Udba, and linebacker Duke Riley. They re-sign linebacker Sam Udavolin. They sign fullback Alex Ingold, offensive lineman Connor Williams, running back Chase Edmonds, quarterback Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater, wide receiver Cedric Wilson, and cornerback Keon Crossen, as well as running back Raheem Mostert. They re-sign linebacker Landon and Roberts and signed wide receiver Trent Sherfield. They also re signed safety shelter at Red Rhine. They re signed tight end Durham Smythe and linebacker Brendan Starlin. They also released star tackle Jesse Davis, released failed physical Alan Hearns, and they signed tackle Teron Armstrong and they traded for Tyree Kill. So that is their offseason recap for the Dolphins. The Dolphins have had a pretty good offseason. They got Tyreek Hill. They uh, franchise dad Mike Gusecki who keeps on getting better every year. They also got uh, Teddy Bridgewater to be their backup to Tua. I think they're going to do good this year. All right, next we have the Patriots. The Patriots started out by releasing Kyle Nett Van Noy. They signed uh, uh, offensive lineman James Ferentz, signed defensive back Terrence Mitchell, re-signed running back James White. They also traded Shaq Mason to Tampa Bay for a fifth-round draft pick. They acquired Mac Wilson in a trade with the Browns for Chase Winovich. They also signed wide receiver Ty Montgomery from New Orleans, and they re-signed linebacker Juwan Bentley and kicker Nick Folk as well as re-signing offensive lineman Trent Brown, and they also signed cornerback Malcolm Butler. So that is the Patriots. They haven't had much uh, off-season signing as they did last year, but I think they still has a chance of making the playoffs. They admit they've had a off-season cut down the last three years. They've made the playoffs two times out of the last three years, but one of those was with Tom Brady, and the other was with uh, Matt Jones, and the other one was with Cam Newton, who we do not want to talk about anymore. So let's just uh, go and start with the Bills, finish off with them. They started out the offseason by releasing A.J. Klein. They released John Fluciano. 
They agreed the terms of wide receiver Jake Kummerl on a three year on a one year deal, and they signed guard Roger Saffold to a contract. They released wide receiver Cole Beasley, signed defensive end Shaq Lawson to a one year deal, signed defensive tackle Jordan Phillips, and defensive tackle Tim Settle. They also signed linebacker Marquel Lee to a one year deal. They released defensive tackle star Luke Lilly. They signed defensive end Von Miller to a six year deal, and they also signed tight end OJ Howard to a one year contract. They signed running back Duke Johnson and offensive lineman Greg Mance to one-year deals and re-signed quarterback Matt Bartley. They also signed wide receiver Jameson Crowder. They re-signed running back Taiwan Jones. And they also re-signed offensive lineman Ike Bottiger to a one-year deal. That is their offseason. The biggest was Von Miller out of the fleet. Von Miller is a beast. Six years to the Bills. That's just amazing. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. And I liked it. Please appreciate it. But, let's see you in the next video. Talking fam.